What's up guys? Welcome to Ricky's World and this is going to be my first actual build video. Um, this is not my first build. Uh, I actually have already built a couple of computers for my family and I've built my own gaming rig which uh, I don't know if you can see it right now but it's, I'll show it later. Um, so I've done that before but uh, recently I've been getting fed up with my Xbox which I'm sure a bunch of people have and they can agree with me. Um, I, I don't want to use that as my main media tool anymore and I don't want to have to pay an extra fee for Xbox Live just to use my Netflix. So I decided I wanted to, uh, to build an HD PC. So that's what this build's going to be for. I'm going to uh, give you, I guess, a rundown of the parts in this video here. Um, and then once I actually get everything, I don't have everything yet. I'm only missing the, the, uh, the case. Everything else is here. So um, I am looking for a micro ATX type case, a small case that can fit a micro ATX board. So if you guys have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so on with the parts here. Sorry about that. Okay, so for the APU that I'm using, this is going to be an APU based build, obviously to keep the price down. Um, I went with the A6 5400K. Um, I, it's, I know it's not the top of the line APU, but obviously for this build I wasn't really looking for that. I was looking for something that could, is efficient and uh, would get the job done. And I've read many reviews that this does great for an HD PC. So that's, what I, uh, that's why I went with it. And uh, the, the other reason was it came with the motherboard that I have. It, they, they were on a deal and I believe it was only $110 for the pair. So I mean... You know, I I couldn't turn that down. It was a shell shocker a couple, like a week or so back, and I couldn't turn it down. So for an HTPC build, this is going to do great. Um, yeah, it's it's low it's low wattage. It's I believe these are only. I want to say it's a sixty five watt. Um. Well, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, <laughs> uh it's a uh, it's 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 a. 3.8 gigahertz max turbo. I believe the base is 3.6. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, and it's an A75 chipset. Uh, APU. So, yeah. Hopefully this gets the job done. I, I believe it will. Um, and if I do want to do some gaming uh, on it, you know, some kind of light light to medium gaming on it, I, I, I'll I maybe add another graphics card to it and try to do that cro the, the crossfire with the, uh, the APU inside. And uh, see how that works. Uh, it'll probably just end up being some kind of gaming for my girlfriend or something if she wants to play some some smaller games on the on our TV out in the living room. Um, yeah. So uh, next here, I'll show the uh, the motherboard that I went with because it came with that. Which actually, this is what I wanted most. This motherboard is actually uh, a loaded motherboard. It has support for socket FM2 uh, APUs. Um, it is the ASRock FM2 A75 Pro M Pro 4M. Uh, it pretty much had everything I wanted on it. You know, it's got US, US USB 3, uh, a front USB, uh, a front USB hub uh, for 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 a case that has front USB. I really want that because I'm going to end up using a uh, external hard drive that is USB 3 to um, to quickly stream media through uh, that I have already downloaded. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's an all-around loaded board. I mean, I'll, I'll take it out really quick so you guys can uh, kind of get a feel for it. Um, it just, you know, it comes with the usual stuff, you know, set of, set of cables like this and um, the IO shield and your little, your product manual here. Um, it, it's, it's a pretty loaded, loaded motherboard. Um, let me get this out really quick. careful with it so there she blows <laughs> uh, yeah it's uh it looks like a, a very very well made board it's it's black as well which I like um, I hate boards that are all super colorful and everything so there it is right there you can see it's got four it's actually got four dims it's got the front USB hub there uh, it's got two uh, PCI uh, PCI Express. Um, I believe they're just, I believe they're uh, 2.0. So 
slots. It's also got a smaller PCI E uh, slot there for you know, sound cards, I believe, that do that and uh, add-on cards. I might actually end up adding a TV tuner to this, so that'll be great to have that. Um, because I'm not adding a discrete, um, I'm not adding a discrete card to this as of now because um, I'm just using the APU for now. Um, it also has a, P a legacy PCI slot, which I probably won't end up needing. Um, it's got five SATA six ports, which is great. I'm not going to end up using all of them, but uh, it actually grow matches up perfect with my uh, power supply that I got because it has five um, SATA connectors, so ended up working out. Wasn't even planned, but it ended up working out anyway. Um, as you can see here, it's got USB 3 here, the PS usual PS2 uh, for your mouse keyboard, uh, VGA, DVI, HDMI, uh, I believe that is eSATA, and we got uh, USB 2.0s here, uh, my LAN, and then sound right here with, uh, I believe that's an SPDIF is what that's called. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's pretty loaded. Uh, I really like the, the quality of it and the way it looks. Honestly, I mean, no one's going to be able to see it anyway, but hey, I know it's there, so I know it's there and I know it looks cool, so I like that about it. So let's put this away real quick, and we will move on to, I guess I'll show the hard drive next, since that is sitting closest to me. <laughs> get lazy sometimes. All right, so we'll put this aside here. And the hard drive that I went with was a Corsair Force uh, 3, SATA 3 solid state drive, 120 gigabytes. Um, it is refurbished, as you can see here. Um, the reason I did go with a refurbished drive, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people have, you know, qualms or problems with getting a refurbished drive, but I don't. Um, I've heard that, uh, and I've read that these Corsair drives are very high quality, and all the reviews on this particular drive. Uh, of people getting the refurbished ones from Newegg, um, they they have you know great reviews on them. Uh, so I decided to say, hey, you know what the heck? It was on sale for 84 bucks. So I mean, I I decided to get one. Uh, I wanted it to be fast and to boot up fast for my media PC. I don't want to be sitting out in the um, the living room with my friends or my girlfriend trying to watch something and you know waiting seven minutes or whatever. You know, it's exaggerating, but waiting a long time just to start up my PC so I can watch TV or watch you know movies and stuff. So I wanted something quick to boot up fast. So that's what I got that for. Okay, so on to the RAM. Uh, for the RAM I got 8 gigabytes of G-Skill Ares. Uh, this RAM uh, was compatible with the board that I got and uh, it is uh, 1866 megahertz. And I did that because if you do not know about APUs, um, I have read that they do share memory with your uh, actual onboard RAM. So they suggest getting a higher uh, frequency of RAM for an APU uh, based build. So went with that. It's actually a higher frequency than what is in my uh, my gaming rig. My gaming rig only has 1600 megahertz, but it does that just fine. So I can't wait to see what this does for the APU. So. And it looks cool. I mean, can you guys see that? It's look at that. It's all blue and metallic and shiny. I really like that. I mean, no one's really gonna see it, but whatever. Again, I know it's there. So anyway, all right. And next, on to the power supply. And this is where I'm probably gonna get flamed, but whatever. Okay. So I went with the Coolmax uh, ZX series uh, 500 watt power supply. Um, it is a single 12 volt rail and it is 80 plus certified and those are the two things that I was looking for and this has it. It is not modular which probably should have gotten a modular one. I was looking at the Corsair 430 watt modular one. Um, but honestly this one at the time of my purchasing it was 20 bucks cheaper. Uh, it's and it, and it pretty much seems like it's, it's quality. It has, actually has really good reviews from everybody who reviewed it. A lot of people said that they are using this in an HTPC build like I am. Um, and they say that really the fact that it's non-modular, it doesn't really get in the way too much. So I, I, I'm okay at cable management, so I think I can work with it. Uh, and the pricing is what basically caught my eye. I believe, if I check my notes right here, I believe, yeah, it was 
$29.74 total for this thing. Free shipping. So, yeah. That's basically why I got it. <laughs> so if it fails, I'll let you guys know, and then I'll tell you to steer clear of Cool Max products. But as of now, do not know. Okay, and I'll go ahead and open this up and give you guys a look at it, like I did with the motherboard. Read me first, and I have to read these. It's just about the product manual and all that stuff. Uh, so it does. It is a budget. It looks like a budget uh, power supply, but it does come with a power cable. A lot of them don't. This one does, so that's kind of cool. Um, and here we go. Let's get this thing out of the box here. Just want to be careful with it because it's not a high, super high quality product, I guess. So, <laughs> actually, I don't know. I can't pass judgment yet because I have not used it. So, we'll see, I guess. And here we go. And it is yes. Like I know, all of you cr are cringing right now because it is unpainted. It is that gross, just weird white or silver metal color. But you know what? It cost me under 30 bucks. So, and it's 500 watts and single 12 volt rail and 80 plus certified. So, screw it. It's gonna do well for what I gotta use it for. The other thing that I hate about these power supplies is when they don't sleeve all the cables. This stuff right here, I don't like that. But you know what? Again, under $30, I'll live with it. At least they sleeve the, the uh, the main uh, 20 pin that works or 24 pin I mean sorry about that yeah at least that one sleeved the rest of them they're not going to be but again this is going to be an HDPC build and no one's really going to see it so yeah don't have to worry about that so yeah anyway those are the parts right now and uh, all I got left is the case so if you guys have any suggestions again leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys later bye